everybody, I'm Ashley Esqueda and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today I want to show you a very important feature on any iOS device, how to shut off in-app purchasing. Now once you download an app, some of them have in-app stores where you can purchase items for games or other use. Well, some of those purchases can be really expensive, up to even $100 in some cases. So if anyone else is using your iOS device, like your kids using your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch, you definitely want to restrict those in-app purchases to make sure that you're not hit with a huge bill behind your back. From our iPhone home screen, we are going to tap on Settings. And once we're in Settings, we're going to head down to the General option. So once we get into general, let's tap on that. You can actually scroll down and look for restrictions. And right now we have restrictions set to off, which is not a good thing because it means anybody can make an in-app purchase on my device. So let's tap on restrictions and we can tap on enable restrictions. Now once we do that, we'll be asked to enter a passcode. So this is a pin that will allow you to say, yes, it's okay to buy this in-app purchase, for example, if you would like to buy something, but make sure you don't share this pin with anybody because then they'll be able to make in-app purchases too. So let's set a pin. And once that's done, you can see that many different options are available to allow or disallow. You can see YouTube in there, the camera. Now, if we scroll down, you can see under allowed content, in that section, you're able to shut off in-app purchases. You can see there's a toggle and right now it's set to on. So we can actually toggle that off. And now you have protected yourself from any third party buying things in apps against your will or without your knowledge. Now that's been Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content and we'll see you next time.